Hello everyone, this is YouTube Media. In this video, I'm going to be giving a brief overview and tutorial of a really amazing software that I recently got a hold of that has definitely gotten on my top favorite programs list. Now this is actually a photo editing software and I'll probably be introducing it to most of you that are not familiar with it. So here's their homepage. This is called Portrait Professional. Now what this does is it's not a typical graphic design software like Photoshop that does wallpapers and designs, CD covers, or special effects. This is specifically for portraits, for facial pictures. Now this does exactly what the top professionals can do on Photoshop with an image for the front cover of People magazine, except it makes it 55 times easier. And I'm not kidding when it makes it, it really makes it 50 times easier and faster by just aligning lines. And I'll show you what I mean by that later. In fact, CNET editors have reviewed this and they'll even list in their review that literally anyone can use this program and it really does not get any easier than this. So you can check out their full website in the description below, but we're going to go ahead and get started with the software. So once you purchase Portrait Professional or when you download the free trial that they have, go ahead and open up the icon. Alright, so over here on the right, go ahead and click Open Image and find your image. I'm going to use this example image of an old congressman guy. Then on the right, you select your gender. If it's a child, you can click Child. Otherwise, click Female or Male. So we're going to click Male. It will immediately give you the instructions here over on this right panel of where to click. See, the first spot is the left corner of the left eye. It doesn't have to be perfect, just the best you can do. Then the right corner of the right eye. Then the tip of the nose. The left corner of the mouth right corner of the mouth. And then this part will take a little bit longer is the um, eye outlines. Now you notice when you move one outline it moves the other. It pretty much does that with um, all the outlines you make in this process. So when I move the eyebrow you'll notice it also moves the outline here. It interferes a little bit but that's normal. It's okay. Everything should still work. You can grab this square to make the circle bigger or smaller depending on the size of the pupil to line it up perfect. So that's probably about uh, that's probably about good enough there. And we go ahead and line up the eyebrow like that. And that's probably good. So you can go ahead and click the space bar or up here you can click the next and do the same to the other eye. All right, that should be good enough. Click next. Then the mouth you're going to select is it open or closed? We're going to do closed. Go ahead and line this up. You'll have to f touch this up a bit. And then the middle and the top here. And then the nose, one edge to the other edge, and to the base, and to the tip, and go ahead and click next. All right, now you have to do the outside face perimeters, so you just line this up. You can grab this square, and it'll also bend them inwards. This will be a little bit harder, but again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now this, normally you'd put this at the receding line of the hair uh, above the scalp or whatever, or the um, forehead. But obviously, this guy's bald, so it makes it a little bit more difficult. So you can try this with your own image though. So we'll just put it right there. That's good enough. And go ahead and click next and it will now process it. And here is the result. On the right is the Portrait Professional edited image. And on the left is the original image. So you can see the massive changes. A lot less wrinkles and redness and scars. But if you really want to notice the changes, like I recommended earlier, is to use a picture of yourself because you know your skin better than anyone else. So you'll really recognize the differences. And if you're not satisfied with it, you can actually go up here and click on Touch Up Brush. Choose the size and the strength and you can go over it. So let's say, see this wrinkle right here? Just click on it a couple times and now it's gone. Now if you want to bring it back, you do the restore brush and now it's back. So that's it. Now the goal of this program is to be super easy to use and it is, but for any more advanced users who want to do more advanced touch up, over here on the right you have a bunch of really advanced uh, but really easy to use controls. So let's try show eye color controls and we can actually do change eye color. So check out his eyes. We're just going to drag this. Look at that, instantly changes his eye color. There's no magnetic lasso or brush you have to do like in Photoshop. The circle of the eye, it does it all for you. So let's go, let's say we just want to leave it there so it's kind of purple. You can also change tons of other stuff. I'm not going to go through it all. Now, he doesn't have much hair, which I'll show that on a different image, but you can actually completely change the hair color and it looks really legitimate. Go under hair controls, OK. And it gives you the controls here to change the hair color. You can also go to skin controls. So imperfections, we can drag this up and it really touches them up. You can also go to thin wrinkles. You can notice the difference. Also, where's the fine shadows? You'll notice when I pull this up, the shadows, most of the shadows will go away under his eyes and nose. So we have a lot of advanced options over here on the right. You can even mess around with the overall image quality. So there you go, exposure. 
fill the shadows, saturation. So you have lots of customizable options. Once you're done, there's also an undo and redo button up here, but you can go up to file, save as, and go ahead and save your image. All right, so I went ahead and already did the outlining process for this image, the before and after. Not much of a difference because this was already a edited picture I got off of Google, but I want to show you this image because she has hair, unlike the last person, we can see the hair controls here. So over here on the right, we click hair controls, OK, and there you go. It instantly changes the hair color, so I want to show you how good of a job it does at picking out all the hair. I mean, there is some, it's not perfect, but uh, depending on the image you use or um, by image, it'll be a lot different. Maybe it'll be better. So over here on the right, you can also, let's say if it misses a certain spot that's not uh, a different color, you can click the extend and you can choose the brush size. And you can see right now, if I click there, it would become pink, but you would do that for the hair. Now, if you want to get rid of it, you would click the cut out and then it gets rid of the color. And same with if I did it right here and see it reverses it, it gets rid of it. And if you want to touch it up, you can add it back and you can choose the size, the detector, the concentration, and all that. Then you can click OK, and also if we go back, you can adjust. You see the shine? Look at that. She goes from blonde to brunette. Look at that. That's pretty amazing. Then you can even change. Yeah, let's uh, now she there. Change that. Really darken it. Lighten it up. Uh, vibrance. Redden. There you go. Now she looks really old with gray hair. So there's lots of different awesome controls with this program. I really suggest you try this with an image of your own. It's Portrait Professional, and all the links will be in the video description below. And I'm going to show you some before and after photos here. So uh, thanks for watching.